Hey everybody, my name is Joe. I'm a doctoral student studying clinical psychology, and this is Psych Made Simple. Today we're continuing our series on the Enneagram, and we're actually going to be covering type 7, which is the type that I identify with. So I've already used it as an example a couple times in previous videos. And if you like this series so far or got anything out of it, give me a like and please subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more similar content. And feel free to let me know in the comments if there are any ideas for Enneagram videos or anything related to personality or psychology in general that you're interested in and would like to learn more about. So as we've been doing with the rest of the series, we're going to be looking at the Enneagram in terms of what the types core fear is. And as I even say in this slide, I word it a little differently on the slide to from here, so bear with me, but fear of negative emotions and experiences are really what drive a lot of the seven's behavior. And as we can see, if we fully focus on that avoiding that fear, then that can lead to gluttony or overindulgence in positive experiences. So I can kind of end the video right there, but I'll actually keep going just with the normal format. Um, and as we like to emphasize here, you know, if we're only moving away from our fears, then that can often get us off track from going toward our values or living out, you know, our true self, doing things that are important to us and living in a way that, you know, is in alignment with the way that we want to live. And I like to circle back to this idea from Rene Girard of a physical desire versus metaphysical desire. So I'd suggest going back to the first couple of videos in this series to look at that and I'll put the card for the first video um, in the top corner here. But the main thing to kind of recognize is that physical desires are what you enjoy for your own sake or for the its own sake. Metaphysical desires you enjoy because of who it makes you. And I would say that a metaphysical desire that drives a lot of the seven's behavior is to have this persona of being really fun and optimistic. Sometimes it manifests as like being the class clown, things like that. And there's really what's behind that is that constant effort, as we mentioned before, to avoid any pain emotionally or any discomfort just generally. So some statements from The Road Back to You, a really helpful book um, talking about the different Enneagram types. I'm optimistic to a fault. Sometimes I get so eager for the future, I can hardly wait to get it here. I usually avoid heavy conversations and confrontations. And when things get too serious, I find a way to get people to lighten up. So as you can see from these statements, especially that last one, there's this tendency to really dislike, even when things just get serious or even when a serious conversation needs to be had. Now I know everyone has a little bit of that of just, you know, if it's a serious conversation, there's some discomfort. But for seven, that is a really tough experience because we don't like to even acknowledge that there's any kind of negativity or any negative outcomes that could come of something, any risks, you know, a lot of times seven are known as like big risk takers or fun lovers doing things that might be kind of risky. Um, Cause even me, myself and other sevens, we really love to just be positive and try to find the joy and find um, the good about everything. And there's a lot of benefits to that, right? But as we talked about before, if we're only avoiding discomfort, then maybe those negative or maybe those tough conversations never get had and that growth that needs to come from those you know challenging experiences never happens so just acknowledging that and knowing that that fear drives a lot of our behavior can help us shape uh, our behavior into living more toward our values and saying okay even though it's tough for me I'm going to engage in this tough conversation or this unpleasant experience that I know will make me a better person. Um, so all those things are really important to a type seven. Hopefully this was helpful. If you're a type seven also, I'd love to hear from you and see what you think about this video. And thank you so much for watching. As I said before, um, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if there's any other video suggestions you have. So have a great rest of your day.